Hi, Mark McDaniel with the Los Angeles Times. I'm staying here at Staples Center where it's 2011, but the Lakers are still playing pretty much about the same as when they closed out the 2010 year, and that's obviously not a good thing. Lakers dropped their fourth loss in the past six games. This one to the Memphis Grizzlies by a final score, 104 to 85. And the reasons for the loss, they're all very quite familiar to Laker fans. They just did not have balance on offense. They didn't have ball movement. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, did go on a, a little bit of a scoring spree in the third quarter because you know so little was working, which I actually thought was fairly warranted because his shooting percentage was uh, fairly high. But Lakers started off getting Pau Gasol, Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum getting going early, and then they deviated that from after the first quarter. And obviously the Lakers' strength is in their size with having two seven-footers in Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum and Lamar Odom, who's 6'10", has loads of versatility and you know, can play pretty much all over the floor in terms of in the post, mid-range jumpers, out in the perimeter. But the Lakers did not utilize them, and they didn't set themselves up enough in a position to get those looks. Probably about the only positive part was Andrew Bynum's defense. He finished with five blocks. It's a very good indication that, you know, he's going to sharpen the defensive rotations. He has that size to intimidate players from driving into the lane, but this is an individual thing. The Lakers collectively on defense have not been together as a unit at all this entire season. And when you have a poor um, offensive execution, getting 20 turnovers, having some missed shots, Memphis really ran out on the open floor with getting points in transition, 28 points. And the Lakers just simply don't have the speed to be able to catch up with them. And again, the reasons are um, you know, the same, but the Lakers have made very little effort in trying to fix them. The Lakers lamented their effort, their focus, same story time and time again. Coach Phil Jackson hinted afterwards that he may uh, you know, have more practices, maybe even longer. He's been, uh, you know, been giving the team a lot of days off um, you know, because they are a veteran team. They do need rest. They need, do need to pace themselves. But he feels that they may, that may have contributed to the lack of focus. And he also threw out the idea that he may you know, shuffle lineups uh, in terms of minutes and all that if, uh, if things don't get better. Um, but inside the locker room, Lakers didn't really buy too much of the whole practice notion. They really just pointed to they aren't executing correctly. And I think Kobe Bryant summed it up fairly well when he was told that you know, things are going to be all right. You know, they are a championship team. They've been down this line before. He shares that optimistic viewpoint, but in the moment of time, he's concerned because the Lakers aren't making that jump, including himself, to you know, put themselves in a good pace toward getting to that championship level. So it's all a matter of not necessarily knowing the problem. The Lakers have known what these problems have been uh, for the past month or so. Um, it's just a matter of going out and fixing them. They did tonight. Lakers have a chance to correct that against Detroit on Tuesday, but you never know. No matter who the opponent is, whether it's a sub-500 team against you know Memphis or Milwaukee, or you know a key matchup like the Miami game or San Antonio, the Lakers have just not shown up to play, and it's cost them in the win standings.